Hi, my name is Magdalena. I am co-founder of Sosei, and we come from Uruguay in South America, where a large part of our economy, and even our identity as a region, is based on agriculture and beef production. In recent years, it's become more patent that the current agriculture model is facing trouble. Production costs are increasing, and crops are being threatened by climate variability. Regenerative agriculture comes to change the way we manage land. It is based on the concept that good soil health is essential and that it can be maintained and managed profitably. But there is a catch. Soil is a very complex system and there is no one magical solution. And that is where Sosei comes in. We provide tailored regenerative solutions for farmers and agriculture companies by designing the regenerative management solution, selling innovative soil analysis for monitoring and retailing the products and services that are required for the implementation. The average price for our services is 33 euros per hectare, which a customer pays in substitution to traditional supplies. Our beachhead market are soy and wheat farmers in Uruguay. They are geographically accessible to us, they are well-funded, and they are vulnerable to rising production costs and climate risks. We consider future scaling to include other segments with potential, like livestock farmers in our region. The key to good soil regeneration is soil management keeping soil microbes alive, and current agriculture practices go in the opposite direction. Our solutions are the bridge to ease farmers into regeneration, helping increase margins with 50% less effort. To be regenerative is to become resilient. We contribute to reducing the risk of losing crops to droughts and pests, ensuring good crop quality, which ultimately translates to access to better markets. Our services include soil health monitoring through innovative analysis developed in-house. They are based on mycorrhizal fungi activity, enzymatic activity, and soil metagenomics. We also partner with the German firm to offer software modeling services that translate the benefits of different soil managements into monetary savings in input, crop losses, and potential carbon credits from carbon sequestration. Depending on the set objective, like kickstarting nutrient cycling or weed control, we retail cover crop seed mixes and biological inoculants that can make it happen. Many of our supplied products are present, in, are present in several countries across the world. We also offer contract raising enterprises that combine regenerative services for the soil and increase income for the farmer in the short term. Our business model gives the farmer a goal, englobed in the purpose to regenerate. Since it is based on two plus year transition projects, it allows us to develop trust and fidelity and gradually build a soil biome database at a farm scale, which is a huge asset for the future of precision agriculture, micro-engineering of the soil. So from our more than 20 interviews, we learned that farmers are more aware of the threat to soil fertility loss than we first imagined, and they are willing to innovate. But many are not aware of the principles of regeneration and they showed concern for the risk of losing profit margin on the transition. So we decided to focus strongly on capacity building and sharing the excellent educational content that is available worldwide through our platform. And to tackle concerns about profit margins, we designed the contract raising enterprise. We also find that it is very important to seek to channel the adaptation funds that are available under the nationally determined contribution program in our region. For our financials, we are considering a 1 million and a half hectare market, which translates to approximately 3000 producers of which we plan to acquire 300. This can lead to a profit of around 900,000 euros per year. As for climate impact, we expect to reduce 4 million tons of CO2 per year in our beachhead market. Our solutions sequester CO2 from the atmosphere while conventional agriculture emits. We also expect to increase water retention capacity in the soil by 352 million cubic meters per year. There are also significant positive impacts regarding climate adaptation, both in food security and social impact. So this is a team. There is Magdalena Iturri and myself. I have more than 10 years background in environmental engineering and IND. Santiago Centena, who is co-founder and CMO, and he has more than 15 years experience in business agriculture ven ventures. Silvina Garcia, our CTO, is a very experienced soil biologist. And Georgina Steiner, our CFO, is a very capable economist. We are a creative and passionate team of entrepreneurs. We are weaving a network 
of committed individuals and organizations who share our dream to build a bridge for profitable regenerative agriculture in our corner of the world. So thanks for listening and I look forward to answering to your questions. In, thank you, Sose, in Uruguay on your, for your pitch on regenerative agriculture. Jury members, raise your hands. Yes, uh, Michelle. Thank you. Uh, fascinating. I love a bit of precision agriculture. I wanted to know how you, you mentioned education and capacity building. How do you really sell the product to farmers? How do you demonstrate to farmers that it's going to make a difference to their on-farm profits? Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Um, we have to do this prototypes. We are we are starting with uh, we're selecting particular clients which are um, sort of influencers or role models in their in their sectors, um, and we want to demonstrate the results uh, through our soil analysis. Which, uh, since we measure biological activity, it can really show, show really fast the the improvements uh, in the soil. Um, and we are also partnering with several institutions all around the world for education and uh, sharing results all over the world. Thank you. Uh, I think, Andrea, I saw you raise your hand as well. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um, one of the issues, especially um, in South America, is, uh, is, is this kind of, of monoculture, just, just yeah. having the same kind of... Of, of plantation all the time that damage the soil. So I wondered at what time do you, do you also have that kind of variation as a way of doing soil remediation, which is a natural way of the ecosystem to, to keep land quality or not? Yeah, actually we are focusing on that. We are worried about this monoculture uh, practices and, the, and we want to gently take the farmers, the soy farmers especially, uh, towards a more biodiverse uh, practice, especially focusing on the cover crops, because uh, by law they are forced to have cover crops every certain cycles. And we want to focus on the biodiversity of those cover crops and maximize the benefits so that they can actually start to, to understand the importance of biodiversity and gradually take them to include other uh, sort of uh, other crops and integrate other practices, move them away from monoculture. Yeah. Thank you. But it's a transition. It's a transition. Know. That's what you said. Yes. Uh, room for one more question. Uh, then I will ask it. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. Uh, uh, the other issue that we see, and not so much in South America, but in other countries, is, of course, fully degraded land, soil land. Mm -hmm. Is this something that you're also thinking you could apply your techniques to really kind of recuperate the kind of lost land at this moment? Well, yeah, I mean, it can definitely be done. There are many examples around the globe. Uh, we particularly are focusing on soy producers that we mentioned earlier, because it, it's what is our main problem here. But yes, it can be done. You have to integrate, uh, probably start by very biodiverse rotations of, of, of different plants and also introduce animals and grazing. They have very uh, important impacts, uh, are calculated, well done grazing on the soil. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sose, in Uruguay. You were our penultimate contestant.